Another possibility is to use MR as a triage test in a patient that has suspicion of prostate cancer that, that did not yet have a diagnostic workup for, for prostate cancer. And some studies suggest that if an MR is negative, you do not need to worry about the presence of significant cancer. But in fact, several studies show that you miss also significant cancers with this approach. That was a problem we had with randomized biopsy, I told you already. 20% will have a positive biopsy after a first negative biopsy. And now we have just very recent high quality data that shows that, that if an MR is negative, still one patient out of four of these patients will have significant cancer, will have high grade cancer. So we also miss significant cancers with MR. That is a problem we know from randomized biopsy, but we just need to admit it, we need to say it, and we need to make urologists aware of this problem. Another very important limitation is the quality that needs to be associated to MR. MR is a sophisticated technology, depending very much on the machine, on the magnet strength, how the system is tuned, and who reads the MRs and who interprets EMRs, and uh, everything depends on standardization, expertise, and, and experience. And the data that is currently published is coming from centers of excellence with years of experiences in this field. And uh, if we would like to apply this approach on a general population, also in a community setting, I have strong doubts that this quality and this expertise can easily be reproduced. And we're currently working on a certification process together with the European Society of Urogenital Radiology to set up standards and sort of a certificate, a mark of excellence for such centers that do MR-based diagnosis for prostate cancer. And this will be a pivotal point if this approach will to be implemented into our practice, daily practice as well as into the guidelines.